Hello, welcome to Oracle DBA02Pro.com. This is Hassan Mir. In this tutorial, I'll be talking about extents and segments. Okay, so we already know the logical storage structure of Oracle. The table spaces are simply group of physical database files, and from logical uh, end, you can break the table space further into segments. And if you drill down into segments, you will see extents. And if you drill down into extents, uh, you're gonna see blocks okay and we already talked about that blocks consist of bytes okay so now we need to take a look at extents and segments from a different perspective okay and after this tutorial I'll give you the take home so we already know that extent consists of blocks okay and the number of uh, bytes a block has has to be you know in multiples of number of operating system uh, bytes okay so we all, all talk uh, we talked about all that in last tutorial. Now, extent is a group of blocks, and segment is a group of extents. Okay, uh, that's understandable, and we have, of course, gone through that in the first tut few tutorials as well. But what we need to understand is, uh, ex segment represents a database object like table, index, etc. Okay, so extent would be created. Oh, the segment would be created. Uh, once you create the database object, okay, so segment represents database object. Now, once a segment is created, uh, of course, initially it would have few extents. Okay, so another thing about segment is it's the smallest unit of storage that end user will deal with, because end users deal with tables, indexes, the database objects. Okay, so indirectly they're dealing with the segments they don't have much control basically they don't have any control over which extent they will be inserting data into all they can say is I want to insert data into this table which would translate into I want to insert, insert this data into this segment that's pretty much it okay now uh, Oracle will decide which extent this the data will go into okay so just remember that segment is the smallest unit of storage that end user can deal with okay so when a database object like table is created, a segment is created in the database. Initially, fixed number of extents are given to the segment. Okay, and uh, so let's say you create a table, a segment would be created with x number of extent. The initial number of extents given to a segment can be controlled. Of course, if you don't uh, specify your preference, default values will come into picture. You can also specify your your preferences, like for example in storage clause as we're going to see in coming tutorials okay so you can decide or DBA can decide or even when you're creating a table and you can decide how many extent this segment would have initial extent and uh, also you c not even uh, not only you can control the number of extent initially dedicated to the segment you can also uh, control the size of the ex initial extent size of extent simply means how many blocks that extent would have within it okay when the table gets full, more extents need to be added to the segment. Okay, so Oracle, what Oracle does automatically adds more segments at the end, uh, more extents to the segment. Number of extents are added uh, that are added can be controlled as well. Like when the first and two extent will be f uh, fully used, how many extents would be added after that, and what would be the size of those new extent the size of the new extent could be different than the size of the initial extent optionally okay so the segment keeps on growing as the data, new data keeps on coming okay so the take home is segment represents a database object okay as soon as you create a database object segment is created exceptions are there where you create one table and two segments are created if you're partitioning th this table but we're gonna do a step-by-step -step learning okay so for just understand when as soon as you create a database object segment is created with initial number of extents dedicated to that segment and extent size can be controlled as well extent would have certain blocks within it each extent would have certain blocks within it okay now as soon as the segment is full more extent will be uh, dedicated uh, allocated to this segment okay so Oracle basically occupies even if there is no data those extents will be dedicated just for this segment okay so uh, this is how Oracle works you create table certain segment extent have been dedicated those extents are full more extents have been dedicated okay all of that would come under all those extents will fall under the same segment
all right so uh, that's pretty much it I wanted to give you a, di a different view on the extended segment in this tutorial I'll see you in the next tutorial